Hey everyone, welcome back to Clinical Physio with me, Khaled Maidan. In this video, you're gonna see either myself or my colleague Phil taking you through a real-time assessment of a particular joint. Now, the reason we're doing this video is so you can get a really good appreciation for the order in which you can complete your test. It will make memorizing the actual assessment a lot easier and it will allow you to have more time to think about your findings when you're going through it with your patient. In these videos, you may not see as much detail about handling or positioning, but of course you can go through our individual videos, such as knee active range of movement or shoulder passive range of movement, to get as much detail as you need. All right, so let's get into it. So let's just go through a typical run through for a wrist assessment. So you won't be able to see that the patient's uh, face from here, but we'll just get them to do active range of motion of the neck. So we're going to flexion, extension, rotations, and side flexions, and that comes up okay. We're also gonna do the joints above and below. So we're going to ask them to bring their elbow up into flexion, bit of overpressure, bit of overpressure, and that. And if I can just ask you to make a fist and open your fingers so we can loosely clear those. Now we get to our exam. We're going to observe the area. And obviously we'll be comparing left to right. Can I ask you to do this motion, please? Thank you. And during this, if you get any pain or problems, please let me know. And then if you can bring your wrist back for me, please. Okay, if you just pop your hand flat on the table, can you bring your wrist in? Thank you. And then can you bring your wrist out? Okay, if we just get you to lift your arm up a little bit, tuck that elbow there. Can you just turn your hand out as far as you can, palm up? Thank you. And then if you can turn it so the palm's facing down, please. Okay, if you can just pop your hand back on the table like so. If you can just make a loose fist for me. Okay, just turn your hand over that way. Just pull your wrist up like there. Can you keep it there for me? Don't let me move you. Great. And then from there, if you can just bring your wrist down like so. Keep that there. Don't let me move you. Fantastic. Just bring that hand to there. Can you just bring your hand to there? Keep it there for me. You got it? And don't let me move you. Great. And relax. If you just bring your wrist across this way, keep it there. Don't let me move you. Fantastic. What I'd like you to do in a second is just turn your hand up like so, and I'm just gonna be blocking the movement. So when you're ready, try and turn your hand up. Great. And then in a second, you're gonna be turning your wrist over like so. And obviously we'd be sat opposite them as we've gone through, so that the handling is much less uh, cumbersome than this. So from here, Paul, if you can bring yourself over that way whenever you're ready. Thank you very much. From here, you can go into your palpation. So we'll palpate the relevant areas and then add on any other special tests that we wanted. And that completes our real-time objective assessment. Once again, I hope that this video has given you a good understanding of the order in which you can complete your tests. If you want more information about the details of each specific test, check out our individual videos. For example, lumbar spine palpation or ankle resistive tests. Thank you so much for joining us once again on Clinical Physio and we'll see you soon.